M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here on programming the UV58. Now it does come under different names, the Radtail 890 and things like that. So we've got it all working here. The download is here. There it is there. That's the actual radio I'm using. Although it looks better, the radio that I've got looks better than the one advertised, but it is the same radio. Uh, so go down to this link. Go to Radtail RT890 programming software and download it and then just run everything. Once you've got that, get yourself a UV5R programming cable, plug it into the radio. Then open up the software that looks like this. Now you do have to select the COM port, which is here. COM port 10 and click yes. You do need to click yes. There you go. Loads of radios on the go here. Make sure you click yes and then to read you click here, right and you can save files as well. Save one here on my desktop, call it UV58 file. So I'll put the links in the description. Save, we've done that. We'll look at basic settings here and it looks like you can add, is that a photograph? Import. I need pictures on my PC so you can find a photograph and I'll import it just for fun. Um, ah, no pictures, that's a shame. How about pictures here? Camera. Oh, they're videos. We don't really want videos, do we? Screenshots. Come on, there you are. There's a, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it to the radio. So when it reboots, it should actually show that. That'll be interesting. Oh, it's rebooting already. Look at that. Oh, it didn't show all of it, but it showed part of it. <laughs> and this radio actually has a built-in frequency scanner as well. If you hold down the button underneath the PTT, it goes into frequency scan and then push the hash to VHF or UHF. Very handy. Anyway, let's go back to what we're doing. So you can add photographs, but it looks like you need to get them the right, you know, the right format. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Uh, what else is on this page? Personal ID, startup label. Can I change that? It'd be nice to put my call sign in. Just go M0FXB. Let's do caps. M0FXB ham diary. There you go. Uh, display startup logo. Look, you can actually change the size here. I don't really know how to do that, but. You know, maybe it'll fit if I change, make it smaller. I don't know. Like so. Let's write it again. Click OK. Mm, no difference, really. Display voltage, startup label, basic two settings. Work mode. If I put it on channel, it's going to show, show the channels that we programmed. Look at all these settings. Work mode, channel mode, frequency mode. There it is there, channel report is name. Display timer off. Be nice to dim it. Can't see any way of dimming it. FM standby, frequency step. Roger beep, talk around. Dual display, yeah, we want that. Dual standby, standby area, border color. Look at that. You can change the border color. That's interesting. Oh, it's actually numbered. Oh, even though it's numbered, it does change it. I do like that. Is that changing live? Let's just see if that's changing live. Uh, oh, there's not many choices. It's like green or yellow, basically. I'll leave it a green. Uh, quick channel, DTMF. There you are, I've got a couple of shortcuts put in there. Then it file. You can save, read, write. And that's it. So I'll write that to the radio. And that's it. Oh yeah, I'll quickly show you how to program a channel. Okay, and then it's showing a green line, I suppose, instead of a yellow. So if you go to a channel, if you look, I'll show you one first. And these do expand. If we double click GB3WR, 
Like double click the number. And there you go, you got your receive. Transmit looks wrong, that should be zero there. 94.8, name there as well. Tone here, power, that's pretty much what you need. I get some more names in here, I don't really know what that one is. That's Hublet, W, yeah, I've got quite a few in here already that I use. I do use BS, so let's go 430.850. Trying to think there's 118 for BS, 118, like so. And their TX is for, oh, I can't remember their TX. I'll leave it on receive for now. Completely forgotten their TX. For, no, I've forgotten it. So we'll just do right to radio. So I hope this helps you to program your UV58, Radtail 819, whatever other name it comes out. But it's, I think it's a really good radio myself. So thanks for watching my channel. 7-3, all the best.